Hello everybody, in this video I have another junk journal with me to share with you. This is going to be my last process video in this particular journal because in this video I'm just kind of filling up the leftover pages with just bits and scraps and some photos that I didn't get around to putting in this journal and things like that. So I'm actually starting at the end, the end pages and I'm basing this around that, you can see that craft paper there with the floral botanical drawing and like the really faint handwriting in the background. That was actually to some packaging, for some stickers, and I just thought it was so beautiful. So I've just torn off like at the top and the bottom there was some branding for the actual stickers. So I got rid of those and just placed some random pretty floral washi at the top and bottom because the piece I'd ripped was not quite as tall as the paper itself. So there's something pretty kind of poking out underneath and stuck that down um but the paper I've actually stuck it down onto isn't actually really a page it's more of a tip in so I just added that wide strip of washi just to sort of um strengthen the page a little bit because it was only stuck on by like a little bit like a couple of inches so then um that little card and the stickers and washi and stuff I'm using at the moment they are all from the shop Little Rainbow Moon I'm sure you're all quite familiar with it I will link it if you are interested this is all much older stuff from her shop I can't even remember the name of the collections but I'll just link the journal shop and you can go check it out if you want to and yeah I'm just adding pretty bits here and there there's that round overly vellum piece I've just put down there and just stapled on some pretty washi and stuff and then I am just going to add some journaling in a white gel pen, basically being about the end of the journal, the last page of the journal. There's nothing really exciting or profound that I'm writing, but I just love the way that white pen looks on top of that craft paper. I think it is so, so pretty. I'm also going to stamp the date onto that little oval vellum piece there with some stays on ink because then it's permanent and yep that's about it for that page so next up is just a really really quick one just because I have these photos that I just wanted to squeeze into the journal took that little paper sort of is it a6 size no it's slightly bigger than that probably b6 size it's a recollections paper pad um washed it at the top and bottom again just like last time because the paper wasn't quite tall enough and so it was just like something was sticking out behind it that was the right colour. Another wide piece of washi just to kind of reinforce the pages and then just stuck that paper down. Then I'm going to back my two little photos on some scraps of paper. They are photos of me and my niece's little puppy who is much, much bigger now. These photos were taken in June, I think, and that is Cody the puppy. He is, he, well, he is and was so cute, but when he was a puppy, he was absolutely tiny and he weighed nothing he was like a little teddy bear cutest little thing he's a pomapoo a pomeranian cross toy poodle i think anyway he's adorable took photos i looked terrible in the photos because i was actually ill that day i remember but anyways the photos are about him he's 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 bigger now but like is now normal puppy size pretty much like five or six months old he's just he's very cute. I'm usually a big dog kind of person, like I lean towards German Shepherds and Huskies and, you know, big dogs like that, but Cody is friggin' adorable. Anyways, as you saw, I just added little bits of washi here and there and then just stamped the date and adding some journaling and, oh, I wrote Cody in just with some letters. It's more like a creative journal page, arguably, but Eh, whatever it's a junk journal it doesn't matter I have to confess I am getting a bit annoyed actually because I keep seeing videos with like a like quote unquote real junk journaling and like people kind of saying well you can't use new stuff and stuff I'm just like can we please not be elitist about junk journaling I'm sorry if like that's not your opinion or like you like those videos that's fine it just breaks on me a little bit anyways just as I said, just my opinion. Anyways, use whatever you want in your journal is based my what I think on this matter. Anyway, on that note, some shameless advertising here. This is me uh, playing with a new item in my store, my mini creative journaling kit. I kind of just wanted to use it in my own journal, kind of like, I don't know, I've just got this thing where I'm just like, I can't sell it in my shop if I'm not going to use it myself. I suppose, and I do arguably sometimes forget to use my own things, but that's because I'm too busy making them for the shop and forget to make any for me. But anyways, 
I shared this in my most recent studio vlog, so you may have seen it already. It's just a collection of really, really pretty papers. There's like um, really high quality ones. There's mulberry papers, handmade papers, vellum, conqueror paper. Um, it's like a little piece of doily. Obviously not every kit is the same, so what you see right now is just like an example. So I am just clustering all the little bits of paper here and there. I went around the edges of some of them with some Distress Oxide in um, tea dye, I think that was. Um, and around the pink mulberry paper, I'm going around the edge with um, Distress Oxide in Victorian Velvet. And then I decided after I'd layered up, like I'd cut that bookmark and turned it into a little tag and a doily, I thought actually the little mulberry scrap that I've ripped would make a really nice little pocket. So taking the tag from the kit, I'm going to do journaling on there and then tuck it behind that little pocket or tuck spot I've made. And then there was that other little bit of the bookmark that I cut off. So I was like, well, let's just might as well just use that for something. So I went around the edges of that with some tea dye. And then I wanted to play with some of these little vellum cards that I put in the kits because I am obsessed with them. I've said this in the past like three videos. I bought a load of these for the shop and then I bought more because, as I said, I am just obsessed with them. So there's that really pretty one that's got like the scripty writing and florals on. So I've popped that down and then stuck this um, sort of acetate sticker on top of that with the floral. And then also just a little scrap of washi. That's not from the kit. That's from my own personal stash just to help stick down the vellum because vellum can be a bit of a pain to stick down, as we all know. Then I took the oval piece of vellum and I've just cut it sort of not quite in half, kind of like two thirds and a third, put the top part of it down the bottom here and then layered that with some stickers from the kit, a really pretty floral vellum sticker and a butterfly vellum sticker. And then the other part of the oval that I cut, I've stapled up the top with a tab again from the kit. Sorry, I should probably stop saying that. It's probably getting annoying. Anyway, stapled that on there with that tab, adding another sticker to layer it all up. And then I really like the look of people's journal pages where you just have like scrawly writing just all over the place. So that's what I did. I just did a quick Google for a poem about florals or flowers or botanicals or something along those lines. And then just wrote the poem just going across everything or under the vellum as I am doing just there and just, yeah is writing that all the way across. I had completely forgotten the name of the poem, I would tell you, um, but I don't have my journal to hand, so sorry about that. It was probably like the first result on Google that was, you know, vaguely pretty and sounded nice. And then I am gonna add some actual sort of personal journaling onto this label doing the white gel pen on craft again because it's just so pretty I love it and then tucking that in that little spot there and I believe oh no I just wanted to add a little extra thing of pink I don't really know why I just felt like it was necessary that was kind of an awkward space there the background of these pages by the way the washi tape in the middle and the um kind of the green pattern that was done with a napkin um, just like decoupage in the napkin on, I did that a while back. But yes, there's those pages complete. I'm also briefly showing you here some pages I did that I hadn't filmed, just really, really simple things, mostly playing around with my fountain pen. There was another little page using some little rainbow moon stuff. I've got a couple more blank pages left in this journal. I will probably just add a random journaling on those because it's bulky enough as it is and it doesn't need me adding any more stickers or card or whatnot into it. So there we go. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. I will leave relevant links down in the description box. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Chat to me down in the comments. Always love talking to everybody. And I'm going. Thanks again. Bye-bye.